This mascara has changed my life. Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to my channel and welcome to today's video. I am so excited to show you this mascara because I just do not know how I survived before this. <laughs> this particular product did go viral online recently um, and that's how I discovered it. So as soon as I saw the videos like using it and recommending it and stuff, um, I actually ordered it. I have not ever found a mascara that works as well as this one does to hold a curl in my lashes. So a little bit of a backstory. I have got really, really straight lashes. They are in fact so straight that they kind of like hang down a little. And I have had a nightmare of a time over the years trying to find mascara formulas that will actually hold a curl. It is all well and good to curl your lashes and then put your mascara on but most of the time normally when I curl my lashes yes they stand up they look cute and everything but then as soon as I put my normal mascara on they just droop down and it looks like I never curled them they're straight again you cannot see them so I have been on a mission over the years to find a mascara that I can use so curl my lashes use the mascara that will actually hold the curl in place I have been recommending this one for a little while this one is from Maybelline called the lash discovery uh, the waterproof formula specifically but it's really 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 difficult to get especially if you're here in Australia I have not been able to find somewhere to buy it online pretty much only Amazon you've got to get it shipped you've got to pay a heap of shipping to get it over here it's a nightmare and so to actually have another option that will work for you guys I'm so excited let's stop rambling on and let's get into actually exactly what this is and a demonstration of how well it works so it is from a brand called Judy Doll this I believe is either a Korean brand or some sort of Asian uh, beauty brand like I said there are a couple of places that you can buy this you can get it from Yes Style or you can actually order it off Shein so if you're making like a clothing order on Shein you can just add this to your cart and grab this too. It is called the Judy Doll Curling Iron Mascara. And I need to be really clear with that because Judy Doll does have a second mascara. I actually made the mistake of purchasing this one that does not work as well. And it is called the Iron Mascara. Don't buy the Iron Mascara. You want the Curling Iron Mascara. So just make sure so the weird thing about this mascara is it actually has no bristles and when i first opened it i was like how how is that going to put any product on my lashes it is a straight up metal rod like look at this hang on i'm gonna zoom you in look at this mascara rod there are absolutely no bristles it is just it's it's just metal it's really really odd there are tiny 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 little grooves but don't be alarmed when you open it. This is what it looks like. This is what it is supposed to look like. The other thing that I quickly want to just, you know, clear up is this mascara will not curl your lashes for you. Don't buy this thinking that it's going to curl your lashes for you. They're just magically going to lift up. No mascara is actually able to do that. I had a lot of questions uh, on the Instagram reel about this. People being like, well, it doesn't count if you have to curl your lashes first. No mascara will actually curl your lashes. The idea of this product is that it holds the curl without letting your lashes droop. So the way to use it and the way that I really recommend to use it, take your lash curler and give your lashes a really good curl. Another tip on curling lashes, maybe that you might not know, is you actually want to pump the curling wand. Like don't just hold it there and sort of wait, you want to pump, like see how I'm like pumping with my finger? It'll give you like a really nice, like harsh curl in them. So you can see instantly already, see how these lashes are standing up, see how they're curled, see how you can see them, see how much longer they look. My lashes on this eye, you cannot even see them right. You then want to take this mascara and wriggle it right at the base of those lashes, really coat them up. Pretty much want it only where you've put the curl. You can obviously use it on the rest of your lashes as well if you want, but personally, I don't find that it really gives any length or any volume or anything. For me, this is only about holding that curl. Like, that's the mission that we are on because I want these lashes to stay standing up, looking like this, looking curled and having length all day long. I look like I actually have lashes on this eye. It looks like a completely different eye shape. Honestly, having your lashes stands up makes a massive difference. I then take my normal mascara and the thing that you want to be careful with here is that you don't want to go over the base of your lashes with your normal mascara. You only want to apply this to the tips. So this is what's going to give you the length. This is what's going to give you the volume. You can obviously use whatever mascara you want to use, um, whatever mascara is your favorite. I'd actually love some more uh, mascara recommendations if you have them. The Maybelline Sky High as well, just mwah, an amazing drugstore formula. Like it's incredible. It makes your lashes look so good. Look at this. It literally looks like I am wearing false lashes. Like 
I'm sorry, but that's unreasonable. <laughs> so pretty much put as much mascara on as you want. I also obviously like to do the lower lashes. Okay, here we have a before and an after. Seriously, this looks like a different eye. I'm sorry, pause the video now, comment down below. Is this not ridiculous? <laughs> and I know one of the most common questions that I'm gonna get, does it stay looking like this all day? 100%. My lashes will stay looking exactly like this until I take my makeup off. The thing about this mascara though is, <laughs> and it is kind of annoying, it only comes like, I don't know what is in this, it only comes off with waterproof makeup remover. So don't be expecting to just be able to rinse your eyes with water and it comes straight off. You need to put a bit of time into getting this off. Just any any sort of waterproof makeup remover, you may even have to use it twice. I mean, it's similar to taking off a waterproof mascara, really. But to show you an even better side by side, how about we curl this side as well? And then I will apply my mascara like normal and you can see what I mean by the fact that they just droop straight away. Okay, so curling away on the other side, pumping. I'm gonna put as much time and effort into curling this side as I did the other so that you get a really accurate idea of just how well this works. Lashes are standing up, they're like, hi, they've arrived, they're here. Taking my normal mascara. Applying this all the way from the root, getting it on the ends, getting it all over. Oh my God, you can already see them drooping. See how they've already lost the curl in comparison to this eye where they're just like, hi, I've arrived. I mean, does this show an accurate enough example? I feel like it does. Like I don't even need to keep doing this. But yeah, the more that you layer them up, you know, with like a normal mascara, the more that they droop and they just, they just, ooh, they lose the curl instantly. I just didn't want to gatekeep this any longer, you guys. Definitely, if you've got short or straight lashes, if your lashes struggle to hold a curl like mine do, or even if you're, you know, they hold a curl quite well and you just want to take it to the next level, I really, really, really recommend this mascara. So as always, if you've got any questions about the product or any questions about anything else, and also mascara recommendations, I would love some mascara recommendations from you guys. Please pop them all down in the comments down below. And I just hope this video was helpful. But I love you guys heaps. I hope you're having a great day and I'll catch you in my next video.